Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hangsters, Hot Rods, Muscle Car, and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealership. During the next seven to eight minutes of this video presentation, we are going to go over our buying process. So if you're already familiar with our process or you've watched our videos in the past, please feel free to fast forward to today's vehicle presentation. In Daytona Beach, we have a 25,000 square foot facility where we house 60 to 70 collector cars, all of which we own. Hangsters.com. We are an internet based business. We have 100, well, 80 to 100 photographs on our website of each vehicle, along with a 20 to 25 minute video presentation. The reason we have this content on our website is because the majority of the transactions we conduct, conduct month after month and year after year are done sight unseen. Yes, people wire us money for 30, 50, $70,000 cars without ever coming to look at them. However, I do not encourage that you do this. Um, classic cars, they're awesome, nostalgic, have great looks, uh, get a lot of compliments, a lot of eyeball, a lot of appeal. Um, but they're 30, 40, 50 year old cars. They are not that brand new car that you're gonna go get from your Ford or Dodge dealer or Chevrolet dealership. Um, they all have flaws, deficiencies, weaknesses, tendencies, some of which we try to disclose in our video presentation and in our photos on our website. I encourage you to come in person to check out the car for yourself. We would gladly pull the car outside for you. You can check out the paint condition, interior condition, real good out in the natural light. You can pop the hood, you can pop the trunk, look the car over real good with your own eyes. We have two twin post lifts here in our Daytona showroom. We'd be more than happy to put the car in air for you if you'd like us to. You can check out the undercarriage, uh, the suspension components, the bottom of the motor, the bottom of the transmission, the floor pan condition, the tire condition. We'll let you drive the car. You can see how the car stops, starts, steers, accelerates, uh, how the transmission shifts, how the ride feels, if there's any noises you don't like, if there's any kind of vibrations or, or anything like that you do not like. This way, when the vehicle shows up to you wherever you're at in the United States or in the world, there are no surprises because you were here and you went over the car for yourself in its entirety. In our photo shoots and in our video presentations, we try to represent each vehicle as honestly and as accurately as we possibly can and offer full transparency. However, we can only cover so much content in a 20 minute video presentation and this is why we encourage you guys to come in person and check the car out for yourself. What happens next? Once you decide on your classic ride, where do we go from here? If you're a cash buyer, we accept cashier's check from your bank and bank wire transfer. And if you're coming to visit us in person, you wanna bring us cash, we'll take that too. That does still spend today, believe it or not. Maybe you don't have the cash to buy one of these cars. What, what are my financing options? We work with a few different collective car lenders that offer terms on these vehicles. The terms start at five years and they go up to 15 years. Approval is going to be based on your credit bureau, debt to income ratio, time on the job, time at your residence, price of the car, things like that. I discussed 15 year term. They aren't going to do 15 years on a $25,000 car. There is price cutoffs for that 15 year approval and obviously you have to qualify on the credit end. The uh, loans from the lenders are simple interest loans which means if your payment's $500 a month and you pay $800 a month, the extra $300 goes towards principal. Also, no prepayment penalty. So if you get approved for an eight year term, which is about the average approval term, and you pay it off in 12 months, they aren't gonna penalize you for doing so. So that makes it nice to own one of these classics also. Short term money loans, you can do that. And then you can pull money out of your home equity line or your 401k or pull cash out of the bank, whatever the circumstances that you have are. Once the vehicle is paid for, what happens? The car goes through a pre-delivery inspection process. We sell old cars. Anything can stop working, anything can start leaking at any given moment. Therefore, we put the vehicle through one last shakedown prior to it leaving our facility and heading your direction. We torque the lug nuts, we check the tire pressure, we check the fluid levels, make sure the AC's blown cold if it's equipped, make sure your brake lights work, your horn works, your wipers work, all of that stuff. Once it's green lighted and the guys say it's good to go, then we detail it. After it goes through detail, a carrier is dispatched if we are the ones handling the shipping. We can typically have a truck here within 48 hours. However, 
If you're in a more rural or remote destination or a holiday falls in there, or maybe you're on the West Coast where they do fewer runs because of obviously the travel distance, it may take three, four, five business days to get a truck here, but I promise you, we know you're excited to get your ride. We are excited we earned your business as a customer. We will get you your vehicle as quickly and as safely as we possibly can. If you're the one handling the shipping, let's say you're sending your own carrier or you're coming with your own enclosed or open transport or you're driving the car home because you're close enough, we'll let you know when the vehicle is ready and you can come pick the vehicle up. That about covers our uh, purchasing process here at Hangster's Hot Rods of Daytona. So let's get started with today's vehicle presentation. Pretty nice car to present to you today. Uh, we run quite a few of these through our showroom. Uh, what I'm referring to is a Mustang Coupe. And today's happens to be a 1966, so let's check it out. Uh, we do have a 289 under the hood, as indicated on the air cleaner. Uh, this is not a power brake car. There is no uh, power brake booster. It's a drum brake car, so. The power steering reservoir is tucked behind there. Um, so the car does have power steering, and when I say tucked behind there, it's what I'm referring to is the uh, air AC compressor that's in the way. So the car is equipped with air conditioning. So you have a 289, no power brakes, power steering, and AC. <coughs> uh, kind of a cool color combination we have going on in this car. I think it's a pretty unique uh, looking, looking vehicle here. Uh, you have like an off-white, um, main color and then you have your blue striping and then a black vinyl top. Uh, the blue striping is vinyl uh, so you know that. Uh, the paint on the top of the hood fenders uh, real nice condition. Um, no clear coat fade, no blistering, bubbling, cracking, anything like that going on. Your Ford designation on the front of the hood. <coughs> the uh, grill area, front bumper chrome, uh, lower valance, uh, headlight bezels, everything looks to be in real good shape up front. Uh, the paint, the chrome, uh, your uh, headlight clarity, uh, bezel clarity on your uh, turn signal indicators down low there. Everything up front looks to be in pretty good shape. Let's take a uh, step around the car here, start looking at the uh, side of the vehicle. Uh, real nice body lines on this car. We'll show you a shot down the side here when we get to the rear quarter on the driver's side. 289 badge on the front fender uh, does represent what is underneath the hood. You got brand new raised white letter BFGs and brand new uh, wheel covers on the vehicle. So everything uh, tire wise, wheel wise, uh, lug nut wise on all four corners of the car is all brand new. <clears throat> no paint issues down low on the front fender. Real nice condition on the paint. Uh, Mustang badge in good shape. Bounce back up top here, we'll take a look at the cowl area and the front windshield, both of which are in real nice condition. Uh, paint on the cowls in real nice shape, uh, real nice wiper arms here, glass clarity up front, real nice, chrome around the front windshield in great condition. No issues here with the vinyl top, not above the front windshield, not on the A pillars, <clears throat> it's in nice condition. Uh, mirror on the driver's side door, drip rail moldings look to be in good shape. We'll take a step or two back from the vehicle and we'll take a look at the door fitment. I mentioned earlier in the presentation the body lines on this car are real nice. So check out your uh, line here where the front fender meets the, the driver door and then continues on to the rear quarter. All those lines line up exceptionally both uh, up top there and then down low. The uh, gaps there on your door are nice and uniform from the top to the bottom. The door fits flush to the rear quarter and to the rocker panel. <clears throat> you have your aluminum uh, molding there that covers the uh, rocker on the uh, driver's side. Taking a look inside the uh, driver's side of the vehicle, uh, door panel's in real nice shape. Um, not, uh, well, up top here is painted. <clears throat> That's in nice condition. And then the uh, vinyl on the panel itself, uh, the center inserts like a vinyl material. That's all in real good shape. You can see your courtesy lights illuminating in the door when I open up the driver door. They're also illuminating down there in the uh, 
floor, if you can see that on both the driver's side and the passenger side. And then also in the center console in the back. Uh, pony interior, um, black vinyl, looks good, in good shape. Carpeting in the car is brand new. Guess what? The carpeting was faded when we bought the car, so we went ahead and put new carpeting in it. So the carpeting in the vehicle is brand new. Um, the driver's seat, passenger seat, in real nice shape. No rips in the vinyl. No discolorations, tears. A wood grain in the center console. Above the center console, you can see the AC unit I was referring to earlier. Wood grain steering wheel, that's in nice condition, looks to be newer. We did not put that on, but it certainly looks to be new. <clears throat> I told you the carpeting's brand new, so that uh, both the carpeting and the floor mats are brand new. <clears throat> Headliner in this car is in real nice shape. Sun visors look to be new as well. No documentation to show you with this car, so we do not know when the motor was rebuilt, tranny was rebuilt, car was painted. <clears throat> I can tell you that we put new tires on the car and we put new uh, carpeting in the vehicle. That's what I, I know that we did, besides our normal you know, maintenance. Uh, vinyl top, up top here, in real nice condition. Uh, where the vinyl top meets the rear quarter here, that's a problematic area for vinyl tops. Um, there's no issues on this car, everything's nice and solid, there's no rust bubbles or any kind of issues where the uh, vinyl top meets your rear quarter there, uh, your chrome molding uh, that joins the two together, the, the roof and the, uh, the roof drop down and the rear quarter in nice shape. Um, all of your chrome around your rear windshield in nice condition, you can see the glass clarity is really good on the rear window on this Mustang. Looking through the window to the uh, speaker shelf area, hat rack area, you can see that's uh, in nice shape, not discolored or warped. And then, of course, uh, the top of the back seat there looks to be in nice condition as well. Before we move on to the deck lid area, let's get a shot down the side of the car, and I'll show you what I was talking about here. You can see, again, the body lines real nice, lines up nicely to the rear quarter. And then uh, low on the rear quarter there, no issues on the paint. Um, with any kind of bubbling or blistering or cracking or anything like that. I think this is a pretty cool looking car. Deck lid fits nicely to the rear quarters. Once again, your blue stripes are vinyl stripes. Chrome on the rear bumper looks to be real good. Reverse lights down low and then of course your chrome tips there coming out to your, uh, from your dual exhaust. Take a look in the trunk, uh, full size spare, uh, does have a, uh, yep, yep, there's a jack uh, wedged underneath there. So full size spare, uh, jack, trunk mats in good shape, your uh, floor pan on this car is your gas tank, uh, your uh, trunk looks in real, real nice shape, there's no uh, rust, rot issues at all. Passenger side of the car, <clears throat> again, much of the same going on here on the passenger side as there was on the driver's side. The door fits nicely to the front fender, to the rear quarter. Your body lines are really nice on the car. You got a couple chips right there in the rear corner of the, uh, the vehicle. Um, no paint issues down low on the rear quarter, behind the rear wheel or in front of it. Your uh, vinyl top here, in nice condition. Once again, there's no issues on the passenger side, just as the, you know it was on the driver's side. Uh, vinyl top is installed correctly, nicely. No bubbles or uh, anything going on, either where it meets the rear quarter, up top, or in front of the front windshield. Passenger side door panel, same as the driver's, uh, real nice condition. The whole interior of the car is really uh, pretty awesome looking uh, in pretty, pretty nice condition. That, that center wood grain, um, that center console, AC, 
black vinyl, all your courtesy lights illuminating like they should, uh, brand new black carpeting, dash pads in nice shape. <clears throat> like I said, pretty cool looking car. Um, no issues at the bottom of the passenger door. And same thing on the bottom of the front fender. No issues there either. It's a pretty nice paint job on this car. Um, there is a little paint issue going on right here. It's like a, I don't know, some kind of paint imperfection that you can see in the car. It's not terrible, but it is there. <clears throat> you can't see it from a foot away, but you can see it when you get up close on it. Other than a couple little chips and a little thing going on in the driver or a passenger side front fender, I'm sorry. Uh, pretty, pretty nice condition on this uh, 66 Mustang Coupe. We're going to put it up in the air. We'll do an undercarriage presentation for you guys, and then we'll take it on a test drive to show you how the vehicle runs out. Underneath our 1966 Ford Mustang, you have uh, drum brakes on all four corners of this car. Uh, Ford engine block blue up here. Uh, take a look at the oil pan. Driver's side, you can see uh, there past the uh, front support here. Looks nice and dry on this side. Same thing on the passenger side. Brand new starter. <clears throat> All your front suspension components look to be in real good shape. Tranny pan's nice and dry. That's easily visible. Frame rails on the car, both driver and passenger, look to be in good shape. <clears throat> Cross member supporting the transmission up uh, in nice condition. The uh, tail shaft steel on the car is not leaking. Uh, floor pans, driver's side, one solid piece. <clears throat> passenger side, one solid piece. This car has exhaust manifolds, and off the exhaust manifolds comes your dual pipes. Goes into a little H pipe here, then uh, continues back. Dual mufflers, no name brand on the muffler. <coughs> the uh, rear frame rails, same deal as the front ones. They look to be in real good shape. Here's your driver, and then of course your passenger. Stated earlier, drum brakes, all four corners. BFG tires on the car are brand spanking new. We put them on there. They have less than five miles on them. Dual uh, exhaust tips here, chrome, coming out of the lower valance of this Mustang. Take a look up in the uh, rear of the vehicle here where your back seat's gonna meet your trunk pan. All in real good shape, no rust holes, no rod holes there. Your pipes coming up over the rear end look to be in great shape. <clears throat> Pretty nice Mustang underneath. Let's set it down on the ground. We'll take it on a test drive, uh, see if that AC's blowing cold, and uh, see how the vehicle runs out. Inside our 66 Mustang, pretty pleased here. A lot of uh, positives. We'll start with the horn. It works. Wipers. Uh, fuel gauge does function. My guys left me with no uh, fuel again. Driver's side turn. Oil's working. 61,049 is the miles on the odometer. Title reads exempt. Passenger side turn. Amps and temp. We'll check on the test drive to see if it uh, comes up. AC works and it blows ice cold. So I'm actually going to turn it down to one because it is blowing really cold. The radio works. Told you in the showroom, center console looks to be in pretty good shape. Headliner is in real nice condition. Dash pad's good. Let's take our 66 Mustang on a little drive, see how it performs.
If you're in the market for a classic, you really can't go wrong with a Mustang Coupe. They're pretty bulletproof, pretty simplistic, easy to maintain. Look at how nicely this thing's tracking. That's fantastic. Steering's nice and tight on the car. Got a real nice ride on those brand new tires. Speedo's working. Temp gauge is coming up. AC's blowing ice cold. No vibrations whatsoever in the car. No tire vibration, engine vibration, tranny vibration. We're not shimmying all around up front here. Nice alignment on the car. The uh, car does have <coughs> drum brakes. So, uh, you know, and the car stops fantastic. It's a very light car, very small car. Um, not only does it stop uh, nicely without having to apply much pressure, but it also stops evenly. And what I mean by that is you're not being jerked to one side or the other. Uh, real nice, simple stop. Look at that. Just like it should, drum brakes. Doesn't jerk the wheel to the left, doesn't jerk it to the right. Uh, pressure being applied equally to the drums. Uh, temp right where it should be, about half, which is probably, you know, 170, 180, somewhere like around there, which is where you should be on a 289. And we're about 90 degrees here today in Florida. AC's blowing nice and cold. I have it on one, and we got the windows up in here, and we're idling nicely. We're not stalling out. We'll uh, run it through a couple gears here as soon as the uh, traffic allows me to do so. Alright, let's take a shot at it. Good acceleration out of the car too. Tranny shifts nice and smooth. Oh, this is a real nice ride. There's 60. 60 miles an hour, you got no issues whatsoever. This is a nice car. If you're looking for a nice classic ride, consider to give this one some serious consideration. Real nice car. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters.com is our website. So we can find all the photos of this Mustang today along with this video presentation you're watching right now. At full retail price, our 66 Mustang includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty is good at any ASC certified facility in the United States, covers the engine, the transmission, and the rear end. It does not cover an oil pan gasket leak, a valve cover gasket leak, a rear main seal leak, a tranny pan gasket leak, brakes, batteries, starters, alternators. It only covers internal components of your drivetrain against major mechanical breakdowns. Is the price of the vehicle negotiable? It most certainly is within reason. If we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price, no exceptions. Also, the shipping comes off. Time is money and there is time involved in shipping these cars. You have to look into the carrier, make sure they're properly licensed to carry your vehicle. Make sure they have the proper insurances. You have to set up the delivery. You have to set up the pickup. You have to make the payment to the driver. You have to track the progress of the shipment until it gets to our buyer. At a negotiated cost, you're going to take care of all that legwork yourself. Maybe you're a Ford enthusiast, Mustang collector, or just classic car collector in general, and you have your own open or enclosed trailer. You're more than welcome to come trailer this car home yourself. We do have people do it from time to time. We do not make any money off the shipping. We just simply provide it as a convenience to our buyers. Maybe you're local to us here in the Sunshine State, St. Augustine, Jacksonville, Orlando, Melbourne. You want to come drive this Mustang home? You can certainly do that because it is blowing cold. Hangsters Hot Rods is located in Central Florida, Daytona Beach. And once again, our website's hangsters.com. Check us out. We'd love to earn your business, add you to our growing base of customers, not only throughout the United States, but throughout the entire world. 
Hangsters Hot Rods, Daytona Beach, Florida. Hangsters.com. Check us out.